I'd like to show two things in this video. The first is how do we make it so that we can control the order in which students complete assignments or even modules. And the second thing is how do we set it up so that students can complete an assignment and mark it as done even when there's nothing to turn in? How do we do that? So the key to all of all of those um, ideas is to set everything up into a module. Once you have your module set up, you can control the order, you can change the way they submit stuff, and so on and so forth. And the way you do that in a module is to click the hamburger button or the more options button. Then click edit. There's a lot of options in here. The first one I'm going to add is a prerequisite. I'm going to tell Canvas that students can't work on this module at all until they finished the module, in this case before it, it was my welcome module. I'm going to update that. So now what that means, see right here it says prerequisites welcome. That means that students can't work on this module until they finished the welcome module right here, which is the first one. So you can control the order of the modules. Then within a module, I'm going to click this again, go to edit. I'm going to add what are called requirements. So I'm going to add my first requirement here. Now, first of all, it says students must complete all these requirements. I do want that and I want them to move through them in sequential order, okay? Then furthermore, down here, this is where in my first assignment, Google Slides and Memes, there's nothing to turn in. So what can they do? I click this box and I do Mark is Done. And I'll show what that looks like in a moment. Basically what happens, like, I'll just say it, when students read the assignment or go through it, they can click a button that says Mark is Done and that'll show a checkbox in Canvas. For my second assignment here, I have another assignment where there is something to turn in. I want Canvas to mark a check mark when they submit that assignment. So they're actually turning something in on Canvas. It'll give them a check mark when they've turned that in. And then finally, the third assignment, again, this is a Google form, so it's on an external site. There's nothing to turn into Canvas. So I'm going to do the mark is done button. Notice there are other options. You can do score at least if you're doing a quiz. You don't want them to move on until they score at least a certain amount. Click update lock the modules and that message came up for me because I already had some settings here for students because I'm learning and uh, not everything was perfect okay so what does this look like for students let's check it out go to student view okay so as a student I go to modules and what I will note what I'll see See, it tells me in the first module I have to complete all items notice I can't skip around I can't skip ahead I have to do the first assignment first and then I go through it. And here, these are all grayed out because I have to complete the welcome module first. So if I click the first assignment, this will also show the question, how do I have students turn in things even when there's nothing to submit? So this was just a welcome video. It was, hello, watch the video. See this button right here? This is the mark is done button. You click that, and now the assignment is turned in. What's really cool is you can, on Canvas, go to the next assignment down here. But I want to show you the modules window over here. You see what it's doing? It's marking these completed check marks as we go. And as I go through it, it'll update it with check marks along the way. So this, this basically makes it so students can't miss something and they can keep track of their work. And it also makes it so that they can submit work or at least mark work as it's done on Canvas even when there's nothing to submit. All right, thanks.